In today's video, we're covering everything Neoxa. What is going on miners and welcome back to the Hobbyist Miner channel. Well, in today's video, we're talking about everything Neoxa and to what is Neoxa? What makes it different from other mineable coins? What is this whole thing called proof of game and how exactly does it work? Then we're gonna jump in and talk about how to set up your first Neoxa wallet step by step. And finally, we're gonna jump into Hive OS and configure one of my rigs to actually mine Neoxa. And we're gonna go through it step by step. So if you guys wanna jump ahead, I'm gonna put time codes directly down below. Go ahead and feel free to jump ahead based off of where your knowledge and understanding of Neoxa sits. But before we jump in, today's video is sponsored by MinerPool.org. MinerPool.org is no stranger to the crypto mining scene. Their team of hardworking developers have been hosting proof of work GPU mining pools for some time now. I actually started mining on their pools almost two years ago when Ravencoin was pumping, then moved to Flux for their parallel asset payouts, and now, as of this video tonight, folks, I am mining Neoxa on MinerPool.org. Thanks again to MinerPool.org for supporting the Hobbyist Miner channel. Alrighty, guys, so we are back at it again, and we have a special guest. Please welcome back the Mining King. What's going on? Hey, what's going on, Javius? How are you doing tonight? I am doing great because tonight, guys, we are going to learn about Neoxa. And who better to teach us about Neoxa than the Mining King? So, Mining King, thank you for joining us. Thank you for educating us here on the Hobbyist Miner channel. Let's go ahead and dive into it. So, for those new to Neoxa, which I am absolutely new, as I was telling the Mining King, I have zero Neoxa. So, this is not staged or anything. Um, give us the rundown. What is Neoxa? and what makes it different from other mineable coins out there so neoxa is based on the kapow algorithm it is okay. a it's a hybrid model it's hmm. uh proof of work with uh proof of game okay. and what's going to happen is over the course of the next four years right now proof of work is 85 percent and hmm. then 10 percent is proof of game and then the five percent is for the devs Okay. And, um, you know, marketing and like mm -hmm. getting on exchanges and stuff like that. So as we get into like year two, right, it's mm -hmm. going to be broken down into 75% proof of game or proof of work and then 20% mm -hmm. proof of game. And then all the way by year four, it'll actually be the majority will be proof of game and less of proof of work. So Got the it. roles will be switching from years two to four, where mm -hmm. traditionally we've seen you know, a lot of coins that are proof of work only. So this is kind of interesting here where they're, I think, trying to bridge the gap between gamers and, uh, you know, and miners. Yeah, it definitely sets it apart. Um, you know, those worlds, you know, a, a lot of miners, at least in our circles, are gamers as well. Um, so this is fun and exciting. It could also pull people into the crypto scene that aren't even miners, that are just gamers and are like, oh, I can earn some crypto? Sure, why not? So I think it's a great idea. So as of now, today, in August of 2022, um, what games are part of that proof of game package? And then what's kind of coming down the road to your knowledge? So right now the act the only one that's active is going to be their Rust server, okay, which is in EU. So um, they are an EU based, uh, you know, okay. I guess you'd say company yeah, development team. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, the next one in the pipeline is going to be Minecraft. It has been Ooh. a lot of back and forth on the Minecraft. Mm -hmm. Are they going to do it? Are they not? And okay, um, they are going to do it. Um, it's awesome. It's supposed to be happening really, really soon. Also, during the time that every game is not um, online, they mm -hmm. are burning the proof of game coins because oh. they are broken up into three sections. So mm -hmm. the Minecraft and the other game, which will be Roblox, is going oh. to be they're, they're burning those coins right now until those games are active. Um, that's that's awesome. I mean, I think it's that also says a lot too that they're also burning uh, as well, which is awesome. You know, cutting, you know, lowering supply, uh, which is I think a great great avenue to go. So that's fantastic. I mean, I think this is a a something new, something different, and the, you know, it sounds like Rust was kind of like their training wheels, and now they're kind of 
hitting for the fence with games like Roblox and like Minecraft, which is phenomenal. My son's going to love the fact uh, that that exists, which is very cool. So um, now that we kind of understand Nyaxa, we understand it's proof of game, proof of work. We understand the algorithm of Kapow. Let's take this the next step and let's set up our first Neoxa wallet. So let's go ahead and swap over screens here and we'll take a look. And we are right now at Neoxa.net. And Mining King, what do I do next? <laughs> you are going to want to go to your download section. Okay. Downloads. Got it. They do not have a mobile wallet yet. They are okay. working on it. I believe nice. that there there is a beta though for um, what do I want to say the Android phone. Oh, not awesome! Phones. That's fantastic. So, I can't wait. I love mobile wallets, so I'm all for it. I would prefer that, but I'm an iPhone user, so. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Sorry to hear that. Okay, so where do we go from here? So now you're gonna want to go to the Windows section and click the uh, download the Windows GUI. Awesome. Alrighty, and then after you get to this page, you will s then you will want to click the uh, Neoxa Qt uh, Win sixty four dot zip. Awesome. All right, it looks like it's downloading that. My fifty six k modem will download that no problem. Awesome. All right, so we'll go ahead and extract that right here. Now, do we so, want to move this to our kind of final resting place hard drive and such like that, or do we leave it here? So uh, I'm a little different than most people. I think okay. I try to follow the um, the security measure. I actually have a mini PC that I keep only wallets on and nothing okay. else. Okay. And it's on a Wi-Fi dongle, so when I'm not mm. using it, I just pull it out. Yeah. <laughs> Got it. So in so this situation here, for all intents and purposes, for setup process, we're just going to set it up right here, like on this machine that we're recording on. But yeah. your recommendation with these core wallets, that's what these are called, is to put them into, install them on secure locations. Is that accurate? Yeah. As, okay. as well as um, know this about core wallets, because I've lost mm -hmm. about 5,000 Raven or more. Is, uh, <laughs> um so not only do you need to have your seed phrase, you mm -hmm. also need to back up the uh, .bat file. Um, Got it. Got it. To keep the, those the up dot, to date. The uh, .dat file is uh, what will actually keep everything. So um, I had my seed phrase, but that wasn't enough. So Wow. Okay. Um, you need to back up that file somewhere, put it, you know, in mm -hmm. your Unraid or somewhere safe, somewhere. Okay. You know, maybe in the, I, I don't know about the cloud, but you know. So. <laughs> I like it. Okay, so to get started here with our wallet, do we launch now this file that we extracted here? Neoxa.qt. Yes. Okay. Yes, you would need to launch that, yes. All right. So we're and then you ahead. will have to wait for the, uh, obviously you have to let Windows run it and it yep. flags it as delicious because it's yep. mining related. Yep. And then you're going to want to. We'll use the okay. default. Yep, we'll use the default yep. here. And we'll let this load. It's not letting me move this window. Oh, there we go. Okay, cool. So we have the ability here to import a recovery phrase if we were like to wiping our machine and stuff like that. But in our situation, we just want to do generate, right? Yes, you'd want to generate. And this is going All to right. be your seed phrase. Perfect. And, and this is where you're going to want to, you know, keep track of your uh yep your now this is and... for testing purposes guys so please don't leave a comment <laughs> that like you showed us your info but what i'm going to do for all intents and purposes is i'm just going to open up notepad here copy the, this in and we'll save that for now i'm just going to minimize that okay so we have that now what do i need to do just close this you'll have to uh i think you have to paste oh. it in there Enter a passphrase to protect. Oh, so this is like a password, is my guess. Yeah, so you can okay. put, you know, whatever you like to use for passwords. I, I love the mining king, is what we're going to use. And then maybe <laughs> I hit generate. Is that how that works? It hit enter, I believe, and it should oh, go. Oh, okay. Yep, you're right. There we go. Yeah. Awesome. And you're going to have to, you're going to have to allow that because it's obviously accessing your network and stuff like that. Okay. So this is your passphrase. Yep. Do it. One, you do it one more time. Oh, it looks like you have to do it twice here. Please enter a yeah. passphrase to encrypt your wallet. Okay. There was so I believe there was an issue early on where people weren't being prompted for passphrases, and then it would make you enter in a passphrase even though you didn't make one. So I believe this is their redundancy that they're doing right here. 
to make right. the passphrase because people weren't having the passphrase prompted. Got it. All right, now I can actually move this window. Okay, so I completed that. I love Mining King twice. Typed it in. Feel free to hack my fake little wallet here we're setting up. Okay, so what next? So you're going to want to click hide. Okay. And then it'll bring Ooh. you down to the main menu there. And then you want to click receive. Okay. And then there's going to be request. Uh, it's right there in the middle. There you go. Request payment. Got it. Oh, yep. nice. And it's then, got the QR and code. Copy, and then, yep. And you can copy your address and everything. So cool. Copy address. Okay. So now that we have our address, I'm just going to add that down to my little uh, notepad file here with our seed phrase. Okay. Awesome. So now our next step is, and this is going to take some time to sync up, but we can start mining at any time. That address is good. So let's go ahead and jump over to Hive OS. Um, and in Hive OS, we've picked out a rig. We're going to go with, this is my Colossus rig uh, this is my, my my largest rig it's a 12 GPU rig and it has my oldest GPUs in it I still have my RX 470s Sapphire Nitro mining editions uh, they're four gig cards and I have um, mining King talk to us about the fact that it's kapow algorithm so I've gone ahead and actually overclocked these already I used to mine Raven coin for over a year with these so I had all my overclock settings ready to go so we have those in place so now our next step, I would guess a mining king, and correct me if I'm wrong, is we need to go and create a wallet and create the coin. Is that accurate? Yes. Okay. So guys, we'll go into Hive OS. You'll select your farm that we're working with, which this is gonna be on our mining shed. We're gonna go up to wallet at the top. We're gonna go to add wallet. Now this is where it's gonna be a little bit different. And where we're gonna click the drop down, you're actually gonna start typing and just type in the word Neoxa. Now Neoxa is not in Hive OS as a, we'll call it like a default or template coin yet. That's okay. You see how it says create Neoxa. We're gonna click on that. Now we copied our address and we're just gonna paste it right in there, which is awesome. And then I'm gonna come down here and I always like to name mine, I'll call it Neoxa. And then I always like to say like where it's from, like is it Exodus or Zellcore? And in this case, we're just gonna put Core Wallet and that lets us know it's on the machine there, uh, which is perfect. You don't need to do anything for source or global or fetch wallet balance and we'll hit create. Now what we're gonna do is we went ahead and create and at the very bottom, we're gonna see that and we're gonna see the wallet address. And those of you guys that are concerned about seeing some of my wallet addresses, I'm not concerned. Feel free to send me free crypto, I'll take it. Not a problem at all. <laughs> so now we're gonna go over to our workers and we're going to go into our Colossus rig. Now we don't have a flight sheet set yet and, and this is kind of where King's gonna come in next. We're gonna go to flight sheet. We're going to go to top right to create flight sheet. And this is where we are now. Now for our coin, we're gonna pick that Neoxa coin. We created it, it's in here already. There it is, Neoxa right there. Next, we're gonna select the wallet that we just made, Neoxa Core Wallet. And for the pool today, we're gonna configure in the miner. And uh, our pool that we're gonna use today is going to be the pool of a uh, minerpool.org is what we're gonna use in today's video. But we're gonna do configure and wallet. And um, does Team Red Miner support Neoxa? Or yes. which one's best? It does, okay, yeah, perfect. Red, if you're, since you're using AMD. Yep, exactly. And I know these GPUs love it, which is perfect. So now we'll go ahead and do set, uh, set up minor config and that'll go ahead and bring this screen up. Now, the next thing we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna go over to minerpool.org because we're gonna need that information, correct, King? Yeah, you're also gonna need to set your hash algorithm though. Ooh. You see, in the, because it uh, doesn't know what algorithm you're mining, so you need to go down to Kapow. All right, we'll scroll down. And there it is. Kapow is set. That's right, because it's not automatically going to populate it like it yeah. does there. Okay, so you, let me go yeah. to minerpool.org. And on minerpool.org, some of you guys may know them from like other other big coins out there that a lot of us have talked about. Ravencoin, Flux. They have, oh, they now have Firo. I didn't realize that. And then also our Neoxa. And they have Solo. Look at that. They actually have 3.16 giga hash on oh, Solo. They quite a bit on there. All righty. So we selected Neoxa. We're going to click Connect. And at the very top here, we, you can pick your geolocation. We're going to pick US East is what we're going to go to. And then we do have a few different options here. 
based off of kind of what we're looking to deal with. We're looking for GPU mining up here. So we'll go ahead and copy this and I'm just gonna add it into our notepad file for reference. We also need that port and that port is 10.059, uh, which will work out well. Is there anything else, King, that you think we need from here or no? Nope, you should be, uh, well, actually you could also go down to the Team Red Miner mm -hmm. on there and it'll give you what the string is, the stratum plus TCHP, and then you can you can just copy that whole string right there. That way you don't have to. I think it's without the go. U, without the U though, correct? Yep. Okay, so I'll copy yeah, that. The U. Perfect, I'll copy that. I'll put that into my notepad file here. So we have that easily available because we're gonna, that's right, we're gonna need that for the server information once we get uh, over there. Okay, so that's helpful there. Oh, they also give you the worker stuff, great. So let's go back to our flight sheet. Um, so wallet and worker template, we can just go with our normal there, wallet.worker, um, yep. worker name, we can populate with worker. Password, we're just gonna put in one, two, three. And then this is where we're gonna paste that pool, is that correct? Yes, yep. Okay, we'll paste the pool. So the Stratum, Neoxa, oh, that's actually EU. I copied the EU one. Um, oh, it's interesting. Yep. It looks like, yeah, it oh. Lo oh, just up here. Yeah, there we go. It looks yeah, like it doesn't like go down there. That's fine, not a problem. We'll, we'll make sure that we catch that. It's good that we caught that there. Um, let's see, just this part. There we go. Neoxa, there we go, perfect, perfect. All right, um, anything else we need to do that comes to mind? Uh, no, this should be it. There's not right. a whole lot of, uh, yep, not a lot of extra configs or anything like that to do the Neoxa. All right, we'll hit apply changes. Uh, and now what I like to do is come in here and I will name it um, the rig uh, that we're currently mining on. Um, so we'll do in here Colossus and then I'll do Neoxa. And then I actually like to do the minor. Everyone's different. That's just the way I like to do it. Easily identifiable. And I'll do create light sheet. Now that that's finished, there it is right there. So we're gonna go back to our workers, select Colossus, go to flight sheets. We're gonna find our Neoxa one and we're going to go ahead and send it to the moon. Alrighty guys, so we have been up and running for a very short time. And as you guys can see, we're mining a little bit over 13 mega hash on the Kapow algorithm, which is fantastic. We have our overclock settings in there. Uh, and uh, yeah, so we're looking pretty good. 160 mega hash right now, Mining King. Um, so we're gonna get rich on Neoxa now, right? Is that what it's gonna look like? <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe if you're minding it in the beginning like I was. <laughs> when I started, it was like eight giga hash on the total network. So oh it's, my word. It's way more than that now. <laughs> awesome. So what we'll do real quick to wrap up the video here is we'll grab our uh, wallet address. We'll go over to miner pool. We'll select our Neoxa here and then uh, we'll paste that. Now we've only been mining for a short time, so we're probably not gonna see much, a lot of inconsistency in here. We've taken the miner up and down a few times for stability. So we're in here right now. Uh, and as you guys can see, you could come in here on miner pool. You can see all your information. Mine's gonna take some time to update. Um, you know, right here, a very quick coin account it's saying, but we'll give it some time. But the nice thing is you could come in here and you can change your payout amount. Um, we did set that pass to 123 so you can change your payout when you do get paid out then the nice thing is is that's going to come into our core wallet which we were talking about here with mining king getting set up uh, and that's still sinking guys it's still sinking it's going to take some time uh, which is nice now last thing we'll leave on a mining king question for you do we need to leave up this core wallet all the time or do you recommend just opening it once a week or what's what's your recommendation here with that I would open it uh, probably once a week. Otherwise, a week. you're going to okay. get really far behind in the uh, in the blockchain, and then yeah. you're going to see long times yeah. to get it to sync. Especially if you're trying to, let's say, you know, on on trade uh, ogre or like mm -hmm. you know TX bit or Xbitron. Let's say you want to do a trade, it might might take you like you know half a day to sink or oh, something like that. Oh, my word. So, well, I mean, even now, I think it's taken, you know, 30, 30 minutes or so just to go ahead and sink to where we are now. We're not actually totally there yet. It's still two weeks behind, so it's still going to take some time to catch up. Uh, but this is where you'd start to see your payouts and stuff like that. So fantastic. Well, guys, guess what? We're mining the Oxa.
How about that, King? Look at that, man. Woo! Heck yeah. <laughs> well, guys, we're going to end things off on that note. So today we went over what is Neoxo. We went over how to create a Neoxo wallet and get it set up. We also talked about how to set up one of our mining rigs uh, for Neoxo within Hive OS. We'll be circling back around to this in a few weeks to see, hey, how much did we make and then how we make it out? How profitable is it? We'll kind of talk about that in a few weeks. But before we go, please go over and check out this man right here who has been so helpful to us today. Day, the mining king he is not only a crypto mining enthusiast he is also a content creator i'll put a link directly down below thank you very much mining king for joining me today i appreciate it hey well thanks for having me hobbyist it's always fun doing videos with you absolutely guys if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if it was helpful any questions on the oxa leave down below myself or mining king i'll try to help you guys out as best as we can and if you enjoy the content on this channel and this is your first time visiting go ahead and click that subscribe button take care Special thanks to minerpool.org for sponsoring today's video. If you guys haven't checked them out yet, please go do. They have and support things like Flux, Ravencoin, Firo, and also now Neoxa. So if you guys are looking for a pool that you can enjoy and trust, I've used Minerpool for quite a long time. I actually started out on Minerpool almost two years ago mining Ravencoin, and I have been since then. I migrated to Flux, and now I'm mining Neoxa on MinerPool.org. So, huge shout out to them for supporting the Hobbyist Miner channel.